A few days ago, I did a video on Whisper Desktop and it's this particular uh, high performance GP GPU inference of OpenAI's Whisper automatic speech recognition model. So it's a small application really. Uh, but the essence of this video is to show you that now we have Whisper supports GPU in subtitle edit 3.6.11, the beta versions. And as of one hour ago, there's a beta version, and this is usually a portable version. So I've gone ahead and downloaded it, extracted, installed MPV player, FFmpeg, Whisper CPP, uh, Whisper Const. And if I open up this particular portable version, I'll show you how it works and how it looks like. Go to open video file, let's get a video file, and you'll also see how fast it is. If you have a GPU, then this is going to be super fast for you. So this is a three minute, three second video file. Let's go to video and then audio to text whisper. And then you'll see uh, to select the different uh, whisper versions, either whisper open AI, this takes longer, this is faster, but this is super fast because it supports graphic processing units to process everything. So let's select that. And it's the const me based on this particular uh, GitHub repository ATC. So let us see. Let's click on generate. Three minute, three second uh, video file. Let's see. It takes about five seconds. Super quick. Uh, how does everything sound and look? Looks really good to me. Uh, let's play. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, I believe it picks out the what is going on really, really nicely. So I'll just look at it from that particular surface breakdown because it's still in beta. And the beta version that I'm using uh, right now about is about subtitle edit beta 3.6.11 next beta 39. So highly welcome uh, to have Whisper uh, powered by GPU or using your GPU uh, to do the transcriptions. Now we'll compare it quickly with uh, the CPP. I'll just open another instance here and then go to video, open video file, the same video. Then go to video, audio to text whisper, and then go to CPP, this one, because in the other version, we use const me, and then click on generate, the same video file, three minute, three seconds, click on generate. And this one should take about, give or take, 20, 23 seconds, right about there. So you can see the time remaining, ATC, but it should be about 20 to 25 seconds for a three minute file. So you now see why Whisper GPU is important because it's going to speed up a lot of processes, especially if you're doing batch uh, transcriptions and subtitles. It's going to be really handy in that. And it's good to see that it's available now in subtitle edit. So you can see the difference. Uh, this looks more bulky compared to what we have with Whisper GPU. Hopefully it's something that can be tweaked along the way. And I'm hoping for one day we we get really good accurate transcripts such that the the demarcation is really you the only heavy lifting you need to do is just make minor adjustments uh but that's it from me that's uh a support for gpu in whisper inside subtitle edit thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to uh somebody who commented on the channel on that particular video letting me know that now subtitle edit supports uh use of GPU by Whisper. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.